So, how was your day yesterday? Yesterday was great, um, inspiring, and it's wonderful to see that the collection, which of course came about in a short space of time, has been very, very popular. But uh, I've got to see, it's all based on um, Baden Baden, Las Vegas axis. <laughs> and um, there are beautiful coins from 1788, which I played with. They're gambling chips in memory of the good old days when people had money <laughs> before they lost it. And uh, I bought a cash from my lovely dealer, Malcolm Board. He didn't know what to do with them, but I know. And here we are. I have done things that I'm very excited about. And I've made little memento mori, a bit like a vanity. My God, I haven't seen that exhibit yet. Oh, I have. You must go. I Downstairs know. is an Ilya Kabakov room, which you'll so enjoy. It's got incredible atmosphere. Yeah, I'm going to go. This is beautiful. So I'm, and my uh, muse yesterday evening, she was the first one to take one of these coins, but obviously one can do lots of things with them, and it's something that uh, I'm actually thinking Barney's is going to be very excited about. Here's the head of George the whatever, and there is the motto. And um, at the same time, it is so um, Barry Lyndon. Do you know the scene when they're gambling? Mm -hmm. Gambling their lives away, and Marisa Berenson makes an appearance. So um, I wanted to have things that are very playful in every sense of the word. And so I was working with the uh, safety pins, and I was putting star rubies, and uh, coral cabochons, and lapis. And this is the other side of what I'm showing. Everything is very uncomplicated, generous, and uh, joyous. So, you know, money is just transient. It's the sentiment that remains. And I made, for Barney's in particular, these cabochons. I'm, I'm looking a lot at green and verdigris. Yeah, and I'm so writing, I'm writing the trend. Totally. I, mean, I do love the necklace on you. It is really, it's a ray, it's a, you know, a queen, la reina. It's totally cool. And then for um, specialists, I've played a little bit with Roman, with Roman goodies. I bought this in Byblos in Lebanon, where they had a big uh, Roman, how do you call it, a big Roman settlement. And they find excavations all the time. And this is my own, that I'm sort of wearing a lot. A sign of power. Needless to say, <laughs> I think I need one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing it with my moon sun, you know, the sun that has a lunar texture surface. And I've got a little coin here that we spectacle set. It's very sentimental because it was um, sentimental to me because being German, it was, um, you know, it was a currency during the Third Reich. So it was such a terribly dark time. And I wondered through whose hand this coin went. And when my goldsmith, who's um, of Greek origin, when he said it, he said, Julia, you know, this is, you have such a mix of coins going on. He was kind of quite uh, taken by it. And then I made him uh, set this unusual piece. It's an African antique ivory twin figure oh. with ebony and gold. I think this is something that will end up on a lovely man. A lot of my male clients like these anthropological pieces. And also I have a few lovely rings. And some of them in gold have already sold. As I went to Stockholm mm -hmm. and my Stockholm lovely client went a little bit crazy buying excess. But that's great. Buying excess. Buying excess. She, she uh, ordered something and I brought it to her and I made it a trip. I had a wonderful time in Stockholm. It was really great. There was art everywhere in a very effortless way. Mm -hmm. Everybody is so visual and very gentle. And, uh, you know, I saw some lovely artists. I went to some gallery openings and I did a bit of business and I enjoyed myself in the snow. <laughs> and so I went straight from Stockholm to Paris. Therefore, I call the tail end of Paris. But um, I think the spirits are high. And people are very, very, very keen to really move on in fashion and design and uh, show something signature and strong but light. So um, it's always great to be part of that. <laughs>